Okay, so everybody, everybody wants a gimbal. Everybody wants a gimbal. And especially for those of us that are shooting with smartphones, there's a ton of gimbals out there. But my thought was, I wonder what you could get if you just kind of spent the minimum that you could on Amazon for a three axis. It had to be three axis, three axis gimbal. And and this is this is the one one we we came came up with. And here, and this is Canadian. Right now, 79 bucks with a $5 coupon, so $74. $74 brand new, it's got four out of five stars. All right, um, we purchased this a little while ago, so today we're finally gonna get a chance to look at it. I love the fact that there's no brand even on the box. It's just three axis gimbal. Here you go, enjoy it. It says here brand FV. Nope. No idea who that is, but we're going to take a look at what comes in the box. Uh, we're going to see if it actually does at least decent stabilization. Uh, and we're going to pair it today with a smartphone. So a Poco M3 and this one shoots, uh, I think it's just 1080, but no stabilization. So all the stabilization is going to have to happen through this gimbal. So that should be, should be a good test. So we're going to do that. We're going to do that right now. So thirsty today. I don't know why. So thirsty. So I got my got my water going on. Anyways, here we go. Like I said, uh, seventy nine bucks, seventy four dollars with this coupon. That's the time of filming. That doesn't necessarily mean that's what you're gonna get it for. Maybe you get it cheaper. That would be even good. So steady shot on the go, integrated zoom control, professional cinematic modes, uh, portrait modes, extra long battery life. So designed with a built-in 2000 milliamp battery and a standard USB-A port, uh, supports about six hours of runtime. So that's pretty good. Most of us will never shoot more than that in a day, but uh, there you go. But bunch of pictures. I'll put links down below, of course, for you guys if you wanna. Try to take a look at, oh, I do like the fact that it has a little tripod hole on the bottom, so it has a stand. I wonder if it has a stand. Anyways, 3 axis gimbal by Fubba. Yep. Uh, horizontal and portrait mode, face tracking, time lapse, manual zooming, adjustable arm, real time charging. Now, just be aware, we're not gonna play around with the menu and the software and stuff like that. Really what we're gonna do is, we just wanna see for 75 bucks, Canadian, if this can stabilize a smartphone with no stabilization. Is it gonna help? So, all right, and on the back, we have exactly the same. Now, maybe this is the front. I don't know, it doesn't matter. But we also have a little QR code uh, that says, it looks like Gimbal, Gimbal Go app, but you got a QR code at the bottom, right there, a little QR code, um, to go get the software. And this opens how? How does this open? Okay, I'm with you so far. Any kind of case? No. So. That's one thing, it doesn't look like, well you don't get a hard case by any means, but maybe you get, maybe you get this. That's that's your protection, right there. 75 bucks, right? Because if you looked at, let's say if you looked at like a DJI, like an Osmo, you're gonna spend a Canadian, probably around $150, about twice as much as this. And for majority of us, do we need whatever extra? And don't get me wrong, the Osmo is a nice gimbal. But, Maybe this is enough, right? So you get a little tiny little feet, a little tripod feet, which is useful. That's gonna help when you're like putting your phone on or you just wanna do some of the cool like time lapsey stuff. Uh, you get a USB, so micro USB to USB A cable. And last but not least, you get the gimbal. And so here's here's what's funny. This gimbal feels like, like a gimbal that I would have got like, I don't know, two, three years ago, right? It's kind of got that feeling. It's like uh, it's something that was, um, by one of the prominent companies right now, let's say uh, Zhiyun, the Smooth the smooth Q, one of the first gimbals I ever had, this reminds me a little bit of it. But that was way more expensive. And now this is a company making this, uh, probably very knockoffy, um, for for like 75 bucks. And it's got this, I don't know if you can see this, it's just so that it doesn't go all the way around. And there's no locking mechanisms that you see on some of the other ones. They just have spots where they stop, right? They don't snap in a lock anywhere. Nope, no locking mechanisms. So a little bit more manual. There's your little arm, right? So you have a little arm to come out. Doesn't come out a lot, but it comes out. 
All right, so be it. So let's, before we power it on, let's get it, let's, let's, let's you and I get a phone. And this should have fully charged, or at least close to that. I'm gonna take the case off because most of these work better without a case. All right, and we're going to camera out is what I'm guessing. So let's, let's take that and drop my, whoa now, whoa now. Get that in there all the way. Get that in there, okay, now we're in there. Now we're in there, okay. So, if we had this, for instance, that's about as far out right there as it's getting. Oh, okay. So the screws just come on. Be aware of that. That's that's what you get for seventy-five dollars, right? Okay. Am I am I sort of balanced? Okay. But on a bigger phone like this, so it balances a bit that way. So we're gonna get it just back a little bit. So just realize if you're moving this screw out, don't go all the way because she'll just she'll just pop out on you. Nobody wants that. We're close. Just little tiny notches. I think we're close enough. I think we're close enough. That's okay. And we're gonna screw this on the bottom. Okay, screw that on the bottom. Just remember, cheapest, cheapest gimbal on Amazon, I think, as of now, as of when I ordered this. And you guys may or may not be able to see that. I don't know, maybe. You guys can see it here though, right? Okay, how do we turn this on? There's gotta be a, there's gotta be an on button maybe. Uh, I'm guessing this one, this one right here. Ready? Oh, I see, I'm a little tight in there, I think. There we go, all right. And then we take this. I'm gimbaled up, for sure. Now the question is, is that, well, that's not bad. It does, now, see, that's, see, little things like that you gotta be aware of, right? So if you really crank it over, like, see? Oh, I, maybe that's intentional. It's so that it goes into, portrait mode and then you get it there and it slides back because you're not necessarily going to be walking at full extension but just watch if you do go to here she she goes over right so that you're shooting in this mode bring her back and she comes I don't actually I don't mind that once you know that it actually that's what it worked right so you just kind of break that seal she goes across now you're in portrait mode come back and she pops back and she's her motor is strong it's and it's quiet the motors are quiet that's not, no trigger so my guess would be that this would have just standard like some modes in it, you know, like so that see how it turns with you, right? But keeps this one steady. Can you push that twice? Yeah, twice she recenters, and then the, you got your your trigger here for moving. All right, that's okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do, because I don't want this video, you know, we don't wanna spend four hours on the cheapest gimbal. Uh, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do a quick walk outside. We're gonna shoot it just me hand holding the phone, because that's what you would do. We're gonna do that with this uh, phone with no stabilizer in it. And then we're gonna do the exact same walk with, uh, with this gimbal. Yeah, all right, let's go do that. Okay, so we're outside. I'm just hand holding. I'm hand holding the the phone right now, and we're gonna just do a walk. Nothing too exciting, but you guys will be able to get an idea of how shaky it is or whatever. And uh, usually, I'm pretty good in regards to uh, holding phone in my hand, but usually you're carrying a phone that's also got some stabilization in it. So let's we'll do a little walk up this way. Right? Okay. Then what we'll do, if we can, we will stop this and turn the camera around. Hold on. Okay, so we have got it facing forward now. And we'll see how steady I am with this. Just so you guys can see. It's finally got a little bit of sun today. It's been raining for the last few days. And come around, back up to the house. Oh, we got water delivered. Yay. That's exciting. And we will switch now. And I will, as you see, maybe you can see it in the reflection. I'm just, I'm just holding it, right? So let's go get the gimbal and try that exact same walk. 
All right. All right, so now we've got it on uh, the gimbal. So same idea. We're just going to go for a quick walk here and see how much steadier or sturdier or less shaky that is. Um, it is fast. I'm hoping that there's some adjustments to so like when you're moving your hand to kind of get it to like swivel like this. It's fairly quick, right? There's got to be a way to hopefully slow that down. I'm just using the standard Android camera. So I'm sure if you're using their software, it would be a bit better, but you can already tell like that's going to be way smoother. All right, I'm going to stop it again and we're going to switch the camera around to the front camera. So you can see what it's like walking. Hold on. All right, back again. Nice little walk. And is that going to be smoother? There's just no way it's not going to be smoother for sure. So, come around here, same idea. You know, you're gonna definitely get uh, better out of a more expensive gimbal. Is this going to do better than a handheld? Yeah, for sure, right? Hold on, I gotta switch this around. All right, so yeah, are you gonna get better stabilization even without just looking at it on the computer I'm gonna say for sure but and like even this right just being able to move that around nice and smooth that's gonna be better for sure but you know I think um, if you can afford well it could be like twice as much um, then you're gonna get a definitely a better gimbal you're getting this just to see if you like gimbals really um, spend the extra money and you'll get better for sure um, but it's not a bad starting point all right, let's go upstairs. Okay, so we're back in the house and I've had a chance to look at the footage and it's, you know, it's considerably better. You know, it's, if you were to handhold or <laughs> that camera, especially, um, it's pretty much unusable. There's just, you're not using it. It's ridiculously shaky. Uh, and that's, you know, I think a lot of us have forgotten how shaky footage is when there's no stabilizer, even an electronic stabilizer. So adding this to the mix was was significant improvement. Like it's night and day improvement. But, you know, that's the one thing that you just need to, you have to tell yourself or ask yourself, I guess, ask yourself is better. You know, um, this, is, this is 75 bucks. It's the cheapest gimbal pretty much that I could find. And build quality, you know, it's, it's a $75 gimbal. If you can pay $130 or $150, are you gonna get a better gimbal? Yeah, for sure, without question. The stabilizer is probably a bit better. The software is probably gonna be a bit better. Um, build quality is gonna be a bit better. Uh, and, and if all that's really important to you, then I think it's something that you may want to save for, right? But let's say you have a, young, a youngster, you have a youngin, a youngin out there and they're looking for a gimbal and you don't want to spend a lot of money because you're like, I don't even know if they're going to use it much or enjoy it or whatever. Then this may not be a bad option, especially at the price point because it gets them out there with this. Maybe they have a smartphone or maybe they have like a, an iPod touch or something like that. It allows them to get nice steady footage. We get to figure out if a gimbal is actually something that they really truly want or if it's just something that they thought they want without dropping a lot of money, right? So I always think there's there's a place for ch cheaper gear. Um, if you've got all the money in the world, right, which not all of us do, um, yeah, get the, get go, go spend more money and get a better one, for sure. Um, but I think this is a good starting point, but realize that uh, depending on who you are, you will probably want to upgrade to a better one shortly it's it's again it's it's it gets you in there to figure out if that's something that you actually wanted um but you'll want to spend that extra money and that and that's something for you guys to kind of put in your head because spending 75 bucks now and then having to spend 150 bucks six months from now means means you spent 225 dollars on a gimbal when you could have just spent the 150 so um, I'm going to leave you there. That's really a decision that you guys could or should make. I don't know your finances. I don't know uh, what your money situation is like. Um, but it does the job. It it's, it's keeps stuff steady. That's what it's designed to do, right? Um, 
yeah. Is it a win? Yeah, it's, it, it, it works, for sure. Um, if you have any comments or questions, I know we didn't get into the software at all, but if you have any comments or questions, or if you guys have actually used this gimbal in the past, uh, please leave them down below. Hopefully, either I can answer them or somebody here that is reading your comments will, will be able to answer them for you. And uh, that's it. I'm going to leave links down below to this. It's just a three-axis gimbal. That's, that's its name. That's it. And uh, that's all. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that little notification bell somewhere. And uh, we will see you fine folks tomorrow. Later, my friends.